Yo, what's going on YouTube? I am Germ here. As you guys can see up on the screen today, I wanted to talk a little bit about Digital World Acquisition Corp. This is ticker symbol DWAC or DWAC, um, as many people know it uh, kind of in the social media world. This is uh, the main Trump stock and in this video we're really gonna be talking about all of the Trump stocks today because um, they all had kind of massive days and there's a lot of different news and stories and everything coming out but DWAC specifically um, is the company through which uh, TMTG the Trump media and technology group is going to be going public um, you know through their SPAC deal um, so this is one that people are the most excited about this is the one you know mostly uh, tied in with Trump his new truth social media that um, has been rumored to be launching towards the end of February of 2022 which is right around the corner um and as you guys can see on the screen today this thing was up 14.1 percent this was an absolutely massive day now yes this is a good day for the markets all around you know dow's up half a percent s p's up almost a full percent nasdaq's up 1.4 russell's up one percent so uh, things were humming in the market today but that does not mean um that your company had to be up 14 percent in a single day but this was very very good to see because um things have kind of been trading flat for for you know around a month we've been around this 50 dollar range we'll go 50 we'll We'll go 53 we'll go down to like 49 you know we're just kind of moving all over the place uh, and when you kind of zoom out obviously this is when the big SPAC announcement happened and we went all the way up to 175 dollars again before settling around prices of high 50s low 40s um, and then finally getting this big breakout today now will it be able to hold this breakout is it going to break out even higher even further we don't know but there is a lot to talk about as to why this company is breaking out uh, and what the future has in store for both DWAC and the other Trump stocks you know we have Mark as well which was up 5% today very very good day for that we have fun stock um, which was up around 6% today uh, and then CFVI this is the company that uh, Rumble is actually going public through they were only up half a percent today and to me this one has kind of been lagging some of the other trump stocks um over the past month it hasn't always been moving with the other ones and that's a little bit confusing to me because we have some good news for uh cfvi and and rumble that we're going to be talking about so definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video i would appreciate that a ton uh subscribe to, to date on all my latest content and consider checking out the first link in the description below uh, for the patreon that we have um it, it's a place where i post all of the trades i'm making in my youtube portfolio for you guys to see it's a place where we can discuss stocks um you know and companies and picks and all that stuff and every single dollar that i make from that patreon goes directly back into that youtube portfolio that we track weekly on this channel um, with that being said let's get right into this so again dwac is up massively they're now up to a 2.4 billion dollar market cap 14% day. Things are humming. Everyone is so, so excited. Over on the DWAC stock subreddit, we uh, you know had this post that said, I remember when everyone at Wall Street bets and the whole world was making fun of us for investing in DWAC. Ha, 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 ha. Look who's laughing now. And again, when you look at the last month, this thing has traded so flat. People have had a lot of weeks, you know, potentially multiple paychecks, potentially, you know, multiple weeks, whatever, to, to load up on shares, to be buying the dip, to, to get even at some decent prices. You know, some people look and see that, hey, this thing was $175. You know, we're down 67% from 52 week highs but understand that that 175 dollars that was for like one day or two days or something you know for the most part this thing has been trading between 70 and and 40 um so again most people are, are most people i would assume um their cost basis are like 40 45 50 dollars um and those people are seeing really really good returns today again year to date we're up 23 and a half percent on dwac specifically so that's really really exciting to see for all those people who have been on this one um you know this one that we've been following on the channel for a while um i know this post is what has a lot of people excited they are saying prepare for the biggest spike ever in stock market history on February 21st. Now, I, you know, in my opinion, it's a little bit of an overstatement, but uh, the launch hits the headlines and disseminates through the internet. But the liquidity of DWAC won't change at that point. A perfect storm when massive demand meets limited availability. You know, this is why people think it has that exploding, um, exponential growth potential um, to just absolutely skyrocket. You know, a low float, um, a company that's going to potentially have a, a lot of interest and a lot of volume again february 21st that is the day um, from apple app store leaks or whatever that uh truth social media is, is rumored to be going live in the app store um you know on google play all that stuff that will be the official launch date eh, you know official launch date we'll have to see how that goes now when that comes out you know could that be a good new could that be a good thing for the stock could it be a bad thing for the stock yes it absolutely could be both it could be great if this thing explodes if people are downloading it if it makes it to the front page of the app store um you know if, if they have a good business model for not only getting people to use yet but also to make money off those people um, but also it could be really really bad because again it's essentially um, 
uh, another version of Twitter, and Twitter has historically been a company that struggles to profit off of its you know massive massive user base. Um, but also, um, what if the downloads are disappointing? What if the app sucks? What if it crashes? What if it has bugs? What if um, you know it, it could be potentially a buy the rumor sell the news type situation? You know, I, I don't really know. But there are a lot of people getting very very excited for that date. I'm, I'm sure um, you know there's going to be all kinds of volume and activity and stuff. Uh, I know this uh, article or this post is about uh, it seems they are baffled why we are rising you know that's what a lot of people are wondering why the heck is this going up um, and obviously there's a ton of factors some people are just getting excited some people are just buying in because the market's having a good day today and all these volatile speculative stocks are all on the rise I mean look around the market there's 10 15 percent gainers all over the place um, some people are actually reacting to this news breaking rumble breaks its weekly video consumption and uploading records i think this is massive massive news the online video platform rumble announced that it reached new highs for user engagement during the week of january 3rd to 9th 2022 the company posted record weekly video bandwidth consumption and also saw the most ever videos uploaded to the platform in a single week so this comes out uh you know january 11th and CFBI stock is up half a percent today. That doesn't make a ton of sense to me. Um, you know, I, I don't know if all that major growth and, and massive, massive numbers and, and records and all that was was priced in. I think, you know, there's there's at least a case to be made that CFBI could be a little bit underrated right now, that people could be, you know, getting a little caught up in DWAC and Mark and fun and, and maybe sleeping on CFBI and sleeping on Rumble. But uh, obviously, this is a very, very good sign for Rumble, very, very good sign for CFBI, but also, you know, indirectly a, a good sign for um, DWAC as well. Obviously, See, the TMTG has um, some some business agreements in place um, with Rumble. They're going to, you know, Trump's going to be making content on Rumble. Um, they're going to have some distribution agreements and that kind of stuff. So if Rumble's doing good, that will help DWAC. That will help TMTG. That will, um, you know, be a, a mutually beneficial thing. So that's another reason why, you know, it's included in these Trump stocks and why I'm a little bit confused why it's not tracking as closely because there was a time where, you know, all these stocks kind of moved together or, or at least moved similarly. And that hasn't been going on as much recently. Um, another breaking news post um, from the DWAC stock subreddit was that their uh, the YouTube channel of Bitcoin Magazine actually got banned. You know, they apparently had 60,000, 56,000 subscribers. I had never heard of this channel. Um, I didn't really know about them, but it is just kind of interesting that YouTube and traditional social medias like Twitter, Facebook, whatever, you know, are more about censoring or more about taking people down. I don't know what the reason was. I don't know what happened. I don't know why this ban took place. Um, but I do know that is why things like Truth Social Media and Rumble and everything are being made to have a, um, you know, kind of free open medium for communication, for content creation, all this stuff. And I would not be surprised at all to see Bitcoin Magazine, you know, trying to bring their fan base and viewership and, and followers and subscribers and all that stuff over to Rumble now. Maybe bring them over to True Social Media. Maybe um, be a nice little boom um, for a company like Rumble. Now, again, they just have 56,000 subscribers. Who knows how many of those guys would actually come over to, to Rumble or, or, you know, become active users. But this is how it starts. You know, you start by having people who are angry, upset, pissed off, see a use case for your company, business, whatever, and then they come over and if they have a good experience, they tell everybody, they maybe get some more people. And you know, that's how you start that kind of grassroots or organic growth or whatever. Um, so I thought this was a very, very interesting um, sign as well. And then obviously, you know, just people posting about uh, the introduction to Rumble being an official partner of TMTG, just understanding that these two companies are very, very closely tied. But yes, today was an absolutely massive day for these Trump stocks. If you are in DWAC, you are um, feeling good. 2022 has been a good year so far. Today was a very, very good day. Um, and it'll be very, very interesting to see what the future has in store for all these companies uh, and stocks as well, because obviously stock price and, and what the company has going on don't always necessarily track. But um, the next couple of weeks, next couple of months leading up to the predicted launch of this app or whatever is going to be very very interesting to see how the stock price goes but also to see how the launch of the app actually performs as well um, and we'll be following it very very closely so definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video i would appreciate that so so much uh subscribe save today and all my latest content let me know what you think about dwack or any of the other trump stocks i'd love to hear your guys thoughts and opinions hopefully catch you guys in the next one but until then peace